Hey guys, this is 007 Nightfire here, giving you a director's commentary of Sand Guardians Episode 2. Uh, this episode picks off exactly where Episode 1 left off, and it introduces the character of Miller, and focuses a bit more on the Red Team. Uh, I was really happy to do this episode. I, I think I was happy at least. And here's Miller talking to Gates, trying to get his attention. Um, I had to like um, film or voice Gates first and then Miller. Instead of, because I used to just voice every single character um, at the same time. Like, here's an example. Gates says the line, Hi Miller, hi Gates. Like something like that. Instead of saying all Gates' lines first and then saying all Miller lines and then editing them together. Okay. And that um, loud okay was from from Gates was a reference from I think it was yeah Red vs Blue episode seven I love Red vs Blue I'm sorry I reference a lot of in Sand Guardians. You hear some banter between um, Miller and Gates. It's kind of ironic, you know, the Blues aren't really wondering what the hell's going on out there. And they really shouldn't be wondering what the hell's going on up there. Then Gates just gets right back on and starts shooting again. Um, for this, for this um, scene right here where Miller just uh, observes what Gates is doing, uh... To actually move him and Gates at the same time, remember only, I only had two controllers, so what I did was I got some tape, li I literally got tape and put it over my Xbox 360 controller on the right trigger and taped it down so it can like shoot continuously while I um, operate Gates with the other controller. So I'm, I'm I'm simply just operating Gates while the other controller just sits there on my bed on on my bed, just you know with Gates shooting. I hear the blues from the remastered version, and for unknown reasons of continuity, Dax still has his goddamn red stripes. And another funny piece of trivia trivia here is because um, Legend is not in that Hornet. Uh, Miller is actually in that Hornet because um, this is the original fo footage right here. At least that, yeah, it's the original footage right here. And um, <laughs> I. Just, I was just too lazy to get another character, so I just decided to put Miller in it. And that's what you call friendly fire. Anyway, the real legend who didn't, who didn't do a damn thing is just there to make his first fucking physical appearance. Flies away. And then Miller sealing the blue team's tank. In another shot, I really like the shot of Gates getting up and witnessing his destroyed warthog and him getting in real big trouble and going after uh, Miller. Now one part I don't really like is this scene, this shot right here because I didn't want to show, I didn't want the character, the viewers to see Miller so I just, I just kept him hidden and, and until he came out that's when I moved the camera, see, I moved the camera right uh, there. And the Hornet's still right there for some reason. I guess Legend didn't park it back. I'm lazy, I'm sorry. This is this was the early days. And one thing I want to bring up is um for Sand Guardians I decided to make the head bobs because like I said, the only mission where I watched at the time was Red vs. Blue. And I just want and since they head bob, I head bob and try to get their shots similar to theirs. But some people don't, most people don't um, bob the heads when they make machinima because honestly some people aren't good at it at all and they just um, keep the heads still, which is very, which is convenient. I do it for Toy Story Live, but the reason I don't do it for this is because when I, with, when the head's not moving, it's, it's kind of, bo personally for me, it's kind of boring when, a when the actor's just talking and the character's just sitting there doing nothing. 
And since it takes place in the game of Halo, then characters should move like humans in Halo. And the poor gamer tag thing, I, I apologize for that my first time. So anyway, that was my commentary for Stand Guys Episode 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it and have a, have a great day.